Hey guys, this is Odd Geeks and this is our first video. So let's get started. In this video today I'm gonna show you how to install a custom room on the S5 Exynos version. So let me show you this is the S5 and it is running on stock Android. Let's get into the settings about device and there you go. It's running on Android based on 6.0.1 and it is having Android security patch level April 1, 2017. And today we are gonna install a custom ROM known as Viper OS, whose link you can find in the description section. So, first of all, we need a proper backup of our phone in case something goes wrong. Next step is we should hit the recovery and install the OS. So, let's go to the recovery. Let's power off the device. In order to get into recovery mode, you must have first installed the TouchWiz or the TWRP recovery mode. To get into the recovery, just hold on the power, volume up and the home button together. As I've already installed the TWRP recovery, so I'm getting into the recovery mode. Just wipe it through and you'll enter the recovery mode. In this recovery mode, the first thing you need to do is advanced wipe. Just click on advanced wipe button. Select Delvic Art Cache System Data and Cache and swipe to wipe. It will take some time. So let it go. So we are done formatting the system. Now hit back and click on install and select the storage where you have placed the files to be installed as I have placed in the micro SD card so I have selected the micro SD select ok. So this is the custom OS which I am going to install on my phone. I am selecting this and click swipe to confirm flash. And as you can see it has started flashing the system. Wait till it completes. You can find the link of this OS in the description section. As this ROM doesn't include Play Store, so you have to flash the super user or I must say the gapps file. In order to root this ROM, you have to select the super user file also. The link will all be given in the description section of this video. As I'm going to install the G apps, so again head back, click on the G apps, swipe confirm flash. I'm not gonna root this right now, that will be done in the next video of mine. So it's installing core G apps. As this ROM is based on 7.1.0, so you can find the G apps related to that particular OS. I'm installing G apps Pico version that includes only the Play Store functionality. If you want all the Google related apps, you can install the selected G apps. So as you can see the installation has been completed. Click on reboot system. If you are asked to install the official TWRP app, click on do not install. Otherwise your system may become unstable. Now my phone is rebooting. If your phone gets stuck on the boot screen or in the boot loop, just pull out the battery and place it again and power on the phone. It will surely boot up. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes, so don't panic. 
if it doesn't be reboots after 15 minutes then you can pull out the battery this rom is based on android 7.0 or i must say 7.1.0 that's running on nugget you'll feel a haptic feedback after a few minutes and there we go so the boot have completed let's go it says welcome to your samsung device copy your data or set up as a fresh device so i'm going to set up as a new device let me connect to the wifi so i'm connected to my wifi it's checking for updates it says just a second so there are a few more steps to go and you will be booted into the main home screen where you can access your new room as we can already see the new icons on the top here the circular battery ring wifi and the network logos so let me sign in so i have signed into my google account it's getting account info it is asking for unlock with fingerprint so i'm going to skip that step for right now skip anyway and these are some google services i'm going to untick and take the required ones click on agree click on all set it says adding finishing touches and there we go it's completely black background so let me change the wallpaper first is having a bunch of wallpapers i see yeah so there we go now the display is legible it says new sd card detected i'm going to set it up it is asking use as portable storage or use as internal storage so if you are having a 16 gig card you can use it with internal storage Usually the Samsung devices are having 16 gigs of internal storage to which you can add your SD card and it will turn up into 32 gigs of internal storage for now I'm using it as portable storage and I'll click on next so it says SanDisk SD card is ready so all the new interface no Samsung based theme and all and it's it's got the basic functionality the play store phone and browser and all the basic settings which we need you can download the access data from the play store that you require let's set the settings and check the android version first of all about phone and it says the viper os which is the custom rom we have installed on this phone and it runs on 7.1.2 os android version that's nugget and it is having security patch level 5 june 2017 which is i think for samsung devices most latest one for samsung s5 i must say so it is having the settings home and a bunch of features which you can access yourself so that's it for guys that's the room itself if you have any queries or any question regarding this video you can comment in the comment section below and thanks for watching this video guys click on subscribe button and if you like my video hit on the like button thank you i like it that way